Hey everyone, it's Ali Lindley here from One Number, and today we're going to take a look at set actions. Uh, I guess the best place to start is to ask what is a set and what is an action? If you're not 100% happy with sets, we actually did a whole webinar a little while ago on sets, taking you through everything you need to know, some really helpful use cases. You can see that either up in this link that'll pop up now or down in the description below. I highly, highly recommend that. And this, I guess the second part is what is an action? An action is... Uh, basically saying to Tableau, hey, when I interact with the dashboard in this way, I want you to carry out this uh, prescribed action. And we can set that up in multiple ways. So we can interact with our dashboard, like clicking on things or hovering over things or clicking on menus. And based on what we've predefined, Tableau is going to know what to carry out. So a set action is an action, right? We're going to say, when I interact with my dashboard in this way, you're going to update or uh, change the values of a set. Okay, that's a set action. Specifically, we're going to look at three examples. So the first is this proportional brushing. So what we're looking at uh, in proportional brushing is basically trying to ask the question, how much uh, did these particular members of the set contribute to the overall picture. So in this case, we want to know, hey, we can see the subcategory sales and the sales over time, but we want to know uh, how much did one of these subcategories contribute to sales in comparison to the big picture. The cool thing, though, is that we can select multiple subcategories and that updates. So we're going to use a set action to do that. Okay, so why don't we start... Uh, with that, and then we'll take a look at the at the next two. Okay, as always, you can follow along in the workbook in the description, or you can just open up uh, Superstore Sales. Cool. So let's start a new worksheet, and I think the easiest thing to do is just going to be to build our subcategory sales, just so that we've got something to interact with. Maybe let's make this entire view descending sort. Okay, lovely. Uh, what is this sub? category sales perfect and then let's do sales over time uh that'll be fine so i'm just going to hold down i'm holding down the options key i'm on a mac if you're on a windows you can right click and drag and i want quarter of order date and i want sales like this okay let's change that to a bar and what's the sales over time okay so here's what we need to do. Um, specifically in the sales over time sheet, we need that set based on the subcategory to be placed on color. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna right click on subcategory. I'm gonna create a set like this and subcategory set. I think just for my own clarity, I'm gonna put proportional brushing PB in brackets. And sure, let's just select one of them. It doesn't really matter. We're going to update it anyway. So here's our subcategory set PB. I'm just going to drag that onto color. Okay, we're getting there. Let's edit this a little bit more. Let's show the mark labels. So click on label, mark labels. I'm going to update this font. I just want it a little bit clearer. So Tableau Medium is perfect. And maybe again, for my own sanity's sake, let's make this change this number, let's make it K, thousands. Okay, a little bit neater. And the last thing I'm gonna do is just drop this gray to like a really light gray, so we don't really have to see it. <laughs> and maybe add some borders. Maybe this is a little bit of overkill, but I think it'll be nice just to see it super clearly. Okay, so currently, what are we looking at? We're looking at the uh, I think we clicked on accessories. So we're just seeing the accessories sales, but we want to update that. So how exactly are we going to do that? Well, let's create a new dashboard. Uh, we can call this prop brush bush. And what we're going to do now is we're going to just drag in these two sheets. Uh, let me change this to automatic so you can see it nicely. And I'm going to put my sales over time on this side. And I think let's just create a little bit more space for our time. Okay, that's perfect. Now what I want to do is I basically want to say, okay, when I click on one of these subcategories, I want you to uh, update the selected subcategory over here. So how are we going to do that? 
Well, I'm going to go up to dashboard. I'm going to select actions. And all these actions are from the demo that I showed you. So let's create uh, change set values, right? That's what we want. And I'm just going to call this prop brush. Doesn't really matter what you call it. Okay, now quick review on actions. All Tableau actions are pretty much set up the same way. Uh, the blue bit is what I'm going to do, how I'm going to interact with my dashboard. And the green bit is what Tableau is going to carry out. And of course, the menus might be slightly different, but basically they're all set up this way. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what you're going to do. So here's how I like to read them. I like to start over here. When I select the, now what worksheet am I selecting? I'm selecting subcategory sales. So let's make sure sales over time is not selected. When I select subcategory sales, you're going to update what set. Uh, I want to update subcategory set PB, proportional brushing, running the action. So when I click on something, I'm going to assign the values to the set. That's what I'm going to choose for this one. Adding values to the set means it's going to keep the values that are already selected and add the new one. I don't really want that. Remove values from the set just means everything will be selected and you could kind of unselect things as you go. And then clearing the selection, I want to keep set values. That just means, you know, nothing's going to change. Add all values to the set means everything gets added into the set or remove all values from the set just means we're going back to a default and you've got to kind of choose which, which subcategory you want all over again. That's the one I'm going to choose. So just for clarity's sake, let's read this together. So when I select subcategory sales, that's this sheet in the proportional brushing dashboard. Yep. You're going to update the subcategory set PB, right? That's the set that we created. Running the action. So when I click on something, you're going to assign values to the set and clearing the selection removes values from the set. Okay. Whew, let's see if this works. Okay. We hit okay. Okay. Let's click on chairs. That updates. Nice. And we clear it and it gets removed. We click on binders and it goes. Let's kind of like just drag, select several. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, that's proportional brushing. I hope that's helpful and we can kind of begin to see how useful these set actions might be. The next example that I want to show you is asymmetric drill down. You might have used this before. This might be something that you've gone, hey, I'd love to use asymmetric drill down, but I don't know how to pull, pull this together. Well, here's what, why it's so useful and then we'll, we'll build it. Okay, so currently I'm looking at my subcategories, but if I wanted to see the manufacturers within those subcategories, Look how much space that takes up. That's an enormous worksheet that I don't really think I want to include into a dashboard. So I'm going to drag that out. And what I've got instead is this little field that allows me to just see the manufacturers within a particular subcategory. So I'm saving space. And, you know, if I click off, it kind of resets the whole sheet. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to start a new worksheet. Uh, name it in detail. Here's what we're going to do. Um, let's build our sheet first. So subcategory on rows, sales on columns like this, and just a nice descending sort. Let's bring some, some clarity. Okay. Now here, first things first, I'm going to create a, another set on subcategory, not state. Create a set on subcategory subcategory set, and then I'll just put AD in brackets again and select one of these. doesn't really matter. Um, okay, now here's something slightly different. I can't just drag this into my view straight away because it's not actually going to do anything. Uh, because here's what's going to happen, right? All it tells me is this in and out, which is a bit weird. And if I change it to show members inset, it's also a little bit weird. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a calculated field. Um, and maybe we just call this AD manufacturers, something like that. And I'm going to say if uh, subcategory set AD, then manufacturer else. And now I'm just going to tell Tableau to return a space if, uh, if you know, the subcategory is not selected. So here's something that I want to flag. Sets logic is a little bit weird. 
normally we'd say, uh, well, normally I would expect <clears throat> to see something like if subcategory set equals true, you know, or if subcategory set equals selected or something, then do this thing. But sets don't work like that. Sets have this inbuilt in and out logic. So we're basically saying if the subcategory set is in, you know, if, if these are members of the subcategory set, then show me manufacturer. So just a heads up, there might be something that you don't expect to see, but it's good to flag. So let's hit OK. Let's drag this onto rows. Lovely. So remember, we only selected accessories. That's why we're seeing all of these. Hmm. Let's perform a little sort on this just so that we've got this uh, field base descending sum of sales. Okay, nice. Now, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put in a worksheet action. So pretty much like a dashboard action, but it just applies to the worksheet. So let's go to worksheet, actions. Uh, let's add an action. We're changing set values again. So here I'm going to call this, uh, sure, asymmetric drill. Down. We're just keeping things consistent. So when I select the AD source sheet, yes, absolutely. You're going to update the set. Uh, subcategory set AD is the one that we built. Running the action is going to assign the values to the set. Exactly. That's what we want. And clearing the selection is going to remove all values from the set so that it resets the whole thing. Let's hit OK. And now you can see as we click through. Lovely. It's kind of taken it all away. Cool. So this is really useful as a space saver in your dashboards. We have essentially included all the information that we would have in this scenario. But it kind of disappears and it only shows the information based on my selection. I can select multiple subcategories at the same time uh, simply by holding down command on a Windows control. I mean, uh, command on a Mac control on a Windows. We're going to take a look at one more example, which is color scaling. If this is interesting to you at all, why not join us for one of our classes that we've got coming up? Uh, we, we really love giving you these kind of like tips and tricks and taking you from a complete beginner working with Tableau to an expert. Uh, and we've got a range of courses based on that. So check out this link that'll pop, pop up somewhere in the screen and, uh, or down in the description below. We'd love to have you there. The last example that we're going to take a look at is color scaling. So I think this is quite a nice example. Um, and if we take a look at this little map, you can see, okay, we're looking at some of sales, right? But we've sold so much in California that most of the states are the same color. And so our little color legend means nothing. So I can't differentiate between any of these Canadian provinces up here because we haven't sold enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a set or use a set that allows us to do something like this, right? Just select the states or provinces that we want to see. And then the color legend is going to update based on that selection. Okay, so let's do this. Let's start a new sheet. Um, and we'll call this color scale. Uh, I'm going to double click on the state province field because I want to see those. Uh, I'm going to drag you know, whatever measure we want. Let's let's work with sales because we we're already working there. Then I'm going to right click on state or province and I'm going to create a set, right? So we're kind of repeating everything that we have done so far. Choose a state. It doesn't really matter. Um, and now, hmm, now we're going to do something a little bit different. We could try something like this. Uh, we could put this on state, maybe out in and out. But do you see how weird that is? So what we're going to do instead is we're going to create a measure because technically what we want to do is replace the sum of sales with our new measure uh, based on the selection in our set. So I'm going to create a calculated field and we'll just call this, uh, I don't know, color scale sales. I'm going to say if state province set uh, then what do I want to do here? Sales and okay. Again, reminder, we're not saying if state problem set equals true or anything like that. We're just saying this is implied in here, right? If the value is in the state of problem set, 
show me sales. Uh, hmm, where is this? Down here. And I'm just going to replace sum of sales on the colors tab with our new measure that we've created. And here is <laughs> little Alabama. Beautiful. So now what we're going to do is uh, put in an action to update this dynamically. So let's go to dashboard, oh, worksheet, actions. We're going to add an action, which is change set values. And I'm going to call this color scale two or something. I don't know. So when I select the color scale, you're going to update which one uh, state province set you're going to assign the values to the set. Running the action is going to assign the values. Clearing the selection is going to remove all values. Hmm. I think we should add all values to the set in this case, because if I click off, I don't want all the states to become blank. I actually want all the states to be included into the set, right? I want to be able to see the colors based on all the sets. Okay, let's, let's hit okay and see how this works. Uh, now, if we select all the states in Canada, there we go, the provinces. Beautiful. And this little kind of corner in the middle is also very bland, but if we select it, suddenly we can see some definition. Okay, so we've looked at three pretty cool examples of set actions, uh, and maybe as a little last bonus tip slash section, the one thing that I do wanna show you that might be helpful is in this proportional brushing example, something that, we, that you might wanna do is select a, uh, it, obviously it's nice to interact with the worksheet in this way. But something that's also cool is to hit the drop down and go to sets and select the set. So what does that do? Well, it basically creates a little menu like this one. Hmm, let's create a little bit more space so I can show you what's going on. It creates a little menu that looks like a filter, but it's basically just showing you all the possible values to the set. So as we click on those, you can see, wow, we're adding those values to the set and we're taking them out, you know, as we go. So hopefully that's helpful. I think sometimes it's nice to be able to just interact with the set. Sometimes you actually want the, uh, you know, the little menu. So, so hopefully that's a, a nice little addition. Okay, if you've got any other questions on set actions, throw them down in the comments below. If there's anything we can clarify, let us know. Uh, like I said, come and join us for one of these classes. We'd love to have you there. And if you've got any other questions on Tableau topics, uh, pop them down in the comments. We would love to get back to you uh, and, and keep creating videos that are useful for you. Awesome. Until next time, keep well.